Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So we are in that phase again when I say for a particular device, another day, another video for the Redmi 4A. Now I didn't really think that one, one and a half year down the line, this device would still be active on my channel, but that is the kind of love and appreciation you guys have shown to this particular device. And that is the reason it continues to get the latest software versions and latest ROMs and a lot of other things. So today's video is basically going to be a review for Havoc OS 2.0. Uh, the build was dated 14th of November, so that's pretty pretty recent. I've been using it for the last 24 hours. The experience has been pleasant to say the least. So we're going to review it. This will be a very very raw review as to first person point of view because although I have access to the OnePlus 6 and the Galaxy Note 9, I have been using the Rolex as my primary device so that I can give you guys an honest opinion of what exactly it feels like to use this particular ROM. So before we begin, there is a small thing that I wanted to announce. If you can look at the screen right now, there is something called as the community tab. Now I will be posting a lot of updates every day as I work and you can reply, like and do a lot of stuff just like social media. So I would like to thank you guys for making this possible. Usually this happens at 10 thousand subscribers but we have been given early access by Google so thank you very much for that and start using the community tab see that space for a lot of updates that are going to happen at the same time next week onwards there is going to be premieres as well that means I'll be scheduling videos the videos will be there every single day going forward minus one or two days when there might not be an upload where I'm busy with the other channel or some other stuff but for now if you haven't already please subscribe, hit that notification bell icon because hey, we do awesome stuff with smartphones. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, folks, so welcome to another video. And what do we have here? We have the Rolex that we are working on again, and I'm really, really excited. And as you might have guessed it, I'm using it as my daily driver. So there are a lot of things in this particular review that we are going to check. And going forward in the next week or 10 days, we are going to have a lot of custom ROM reviews, and they will be real life reviews because devices like these, well, I'm gonna use them as my daily driver with custom ROMs and then give you a first person's impression. So they might not be as polished as some other channels, but the goal here is not to give you you know good b-rolls and good polished videos and stuff like that of course the quality will be good but the idea here is to give you a raw impression of a particular rom as to what problems i face and should you use it as your daily driver or not and the best part is these videos will not be very very lengthy they will be under 10 minutes so we will cover things like the battery aspect of it camera stuff like gcam works or not apart from that how much time does it take to charge and how smooth is the user interface how well does it game and stuff what I'm thinking of doing is I will install each and every ROM use it for 24 to 48 hours and I will make a dedicated video on how well does it play PUBG because that has become very very important to a lot of people these days so give this video a thumbs up and mention in the comment section if you want to see a dedicated video of PUBG with different ROM for different devices we have access to the oneplus 6 the rolex the redmi note 5 and the redmi note 5 pro these are the devices that are available right now once the development on the oneplus 60 catches up we will be getting that device in the house as well so to begin with let's do the review for Havoc OS 2.0 based on Android 9 Pie, build dated 14th of November 2018 with the latest security patch. And before we begin, let me tell you, I've not done any major modifications to this particular ROM. The only thing that is installed is Google camera, that is Gcam. And there are not a lot of pictures that I've snapped. But nonetheless, let's begin with the review, shall we? All right, so starting with the home screen, now as you can see, this is using the Pixel Launcher. So the recent apps are here, and if you swipe up twice, you get the app drawer. And the recent menu is just like stock Android Pie and you do get a clear all button to the left. Now the first USP that I would like to mention over here is that this ROM is working really really smooth. There are a ton of features so we will go through the features as well but as of now in the first impressions the first 24 hours have been pretty pretty good. The only downside is let's move on to the camera before we actually move on to the user interface. Now if we go to the stock camera application now this is the stock camera application. What I have noticed is usually not only it is a little slow to launch but then again it is very very dark compared to now as you can see over here 
uh, if I focus over here, it improves the lightning a bit. So the camera definitely does work, the stock camera which is supplied with the ROM, but then the clarity is not that great. Versus if we were to go to Gcam, which works out of the box, you just have to install the APK. I will leave the link in the description to the Telegram group, which I'm a part of. You can chat with me there and also give this video a thumbs up if you want me to make a dedicated Telegram channel, because that is a very, very unique way of chatting with you guys without sharing the number. All right, so that is Gcam for you and there is a substantial amount of improvement. So the portrait mode on the front camera does work. And if you move on to the back camera while in portrait mode, it does snap a picture, but the picture is not with background blur. So that is not basically a portrait for the rear camera, but Google camera overall guys works really, really well. Now, next up, let's go to settings there. And one of the most important things, battery life. Now, before we begin to talk about the battery life of this particular ROM, let's go ahead and discuss how much time does it take to charge it usually takes me around two hours one and a half to two hours to charge and i have a two ampere charger which charges this really really fast like one and a half hour maybe for 10 to 100 percent and if you look at the screen right now the battery does tend to last now today i've not done any gaming on it but overall if you see i have been using the phone and a lot of things have been snapchat instagram my social media and stuff so yeah the battery life on this particular rom is slightly I would say slightly better than MI UI and the overall smoothness the UI everything is stock pie so that is something I really really like again if we go to settings there is something called as Havoc settings now that is the name of the game that is where the entire picture is for a custom ROM now just let's go through all the options that we have we have status bar quick settings interface ambient display screen, buttons, navigation bar, gestures, lock screen, recents, notifications, animations, system, IME, IME settings, battery saving and miscellaneous. So if you go to status bar, you have double tap to sleep. After that, if you go to interface, there is a lot of stuff that you can change like dark black. So there you go. You can have a black interface. There you have it. So that looks even more better in my opinion. And this is the LCD display that we are dealing with over here. So not that battery life will be, you know, getting impacted like they do in some high end devices like the OnePlus 6 and stuff. But yeah, we'll keep it black for the rest of the video. Apart from that, you have buttons. You can go ahead and disable the bottom buttons altogether, the capacitive keys. Navigation bar, you can enable or disable it. You have gestures that you can enable. I'm not using it because it's a very, very tiny five inch device and I'm not used to using gestures on these small phones. So basically the customization in Havoc OS is next level and it works like a charm. And as you can see in the settings menu over here, the settings are very, very well organized. Just what Android Pie did to stock Android is being carried on forward over here, the design language. Apart from that, sound storage and all the options are working just fine. Digital well-being is a part of this OS and it is working absolutely fine. It does show how much I have been using my phone. So that does keep me aware of how much time I'm spending with my device. And apart from that, if you go to system and about phone, so you would notice that this is Havoc OS version 2.0 and the build date is 14th of November, 2018. So it does have the November security patch. Now, towards the end of this video, as I said, this will be a very, very short and a first impression or a first person kind of review. So these are the things that I have, you know, experienced so far, but let me tell you about a few issues. Now, as you might have discovered from my second channel, I am a biker and I love riding motorbikes. So my helmet is Bluetooth equipped so that I can listen to music and talk to people while riding and I don't have to take my phone off. So this does connect to all the Bluetooth devices as well, but for some reason, the in-call audio is not going through. So you might have some Bluetooth issues. Apart from that, every time you start this device up, you will have a pop-up stating that you need to choose the default SIM card. Apart from these two issues, and I'm using this as my primary phone, there is no other phone that I'm using apart from this. Both the SIM cards are in this phone. This is a 3GB variant with 32 gigabytes of internal storage. It's working pretty smooth. I've not had any major glitches. So Havoc OS 2.0 gets a big thumbs up from smartphone tutorials and you can definitely use it. I will leave in the description a link to this particular thread and uh, if you don't know how to install it, well, you can watch one of my install and preview videos. There are many that I've made. The install process is very, very simple. You need to have an unlocked bootloader, a custom recovery like TWRP or Batik TWRP, whatever you like. 
just copy the ROM file and uh, the G apps of your choice and install them one by one. It should be a clean install, so wipe everything and you should be good to go. So there you have it guys. Here's a quick, quick review of Havoc OS 2.0 based on Android Pi for Rolex with the latest build. It is a very, very good ROM. You can go ahead and use it. There are no issues that I had which would stop you from using this. And it's definitely better than MIUI minus a few MIUI features. So for now, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Until next time, keep smiling, take care and like, share, subscribe. Goodbye.